friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. We are getting into fall, we are getting into pumpkin recipes and I can't wait for this week's meal prep. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find my recipe website. That is where you can find today's recipes and all of my other recipes, as well as nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend, this is how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to ask questions, talk with me directly, or if you just need a little extra accountability. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's make a breakfast, lunch, and sweet treat for the week. For my breakfast this week, we are channeling all of our fall vibes and I am making pumpkin pie overnight oats with chia seeds. So these are a nice, healthy overnight oat with pumpkin. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need rolled oats, milk of your choice. As always, I'm using my Fairlife milk. It just gives me lots of added protein. You can use non-fat plain or non-fat vanilla Greek yogurt. Maple syrup, I'm gonna opt for the Lakanto cinnamon maple syrup. I think that's going to pair really nicely with these overnight oats. You, of course, can use any sugar-free syrup. I do have a 15% off discount site-wide for Lakanto, so I'll link that down below for you. Spoiler alert, this cinnamon one is perfect for fall. You're going to need chia seeds, vanilla extract, pumpkin pie spice, and plain canned pumpkin. Do not buy pumpkin pie filling there's added sugar to that just get regular pumpkin puree so to put our overnight oats together it's really easy we're going to mix everything in a bowl and then transfer it into our overnight oats jar so I have one half of a cup of rolled oats one half of a cup of milk one quarter cup of the Greek yogurt. Again, you can use plain non-fat, whole milk Greek yogurt, vanilla Greek yogurt. I just used what I had on hand, which was plain. And then also one quarter cup of pumpkin puree, two tablespoons of sugar-free syrup, half a teaspoon of vanilla, two teaspoons of chia seeds, and then your pumpkin pie spice, as much as you want. I'm going to do a good tablespoon. The recipe calls, I believe, for about half of a teaspoon, but do it to your liking. And then mix all of that together until fully combined, and then we will pop it into our overnight oats jar. It smells incredible. I can smell all of the pumpkin, oh my gosh, and those spices. And then go ahead and add that to your jar. Now, if you have a funnel, a kitchen funnel, I would recommend that. It'll make it a lot easier to transfer it to the jar. I do not have a kitchen funnel. However, I just ordered one from Timu because I'm going to do another Timu fall haul. So I did order a couple of kitchen funnels. So stay tuned for that video a little bit later this month. Give it one more stir and then we're going to pop a lid on this and put it into the fridge. I'm going to make up two more jars. That way I have three overnight oats for the week. So here are my overnight oats. So these two down here I fully mixed and then I left this one unmixed for you just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And then you, if you don't want to mix it in a bowl, you can add everything to the mason jar and then shake it up. So I'm going to give this a really good shake before I put it in the refrigerator. But that's going to be my breakfast for the week. I'll probably pair it with some type of additional protein, maybe some eggs or cheese stick. We shall see, but I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you.
For my lunch this week, I'm making a lemon chicken soup with rice and peas. This is going to be so perfect as we transition into fall. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need light butter, chicken broth or bone broth. I'm subbing bone broth just because it has extra protein, but you can use whatever you would like. You'll need plain uncooked rice, frozen. You could even use canned peas, but I would recommend frozen. Salt and pepper and onion. Lemon juice, you can either use fresh lemons like I'm going to do or lemon juice and you'll need some chicken cooked or raw. The recipe actually has you cook the chicken, but I'm going to use this already cooked pre-shredded white meat chicken from Sprouts. And then you'll need some water and the recipe says hot sauce is optional. No surprise to anybody, I'm skipping the hot sauce. In a large stock pot, go ahead and add one tablespoon of light butter and your chopped up onion. We're going to allow this to cook down until softened. Once your onions are softened, you're going to go ahead and add in your chicken, whether it's raw or cooked. If you are using raw chicken, just make sure that you allow it to cook down before moving on with the recipe until there's no more pink. Since mine is pre-cooked, I'm just going to add it in, give it a quick stir, and continue on with the rest of the ingredients. We're then going to add in four cups of chicken broth or bone broth, two cups of water, and two thirds of a cup of uncooked rice. One third cup of lemon juice, and then salt and pepper. I'm going to heavily salt mine because bone broth isn't salty like chicken broth. Now, if you use chicken broth, you'll need to go just a little bit lighter on the salt. And then we're going to allow this to come to a boil and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So once your soup has been boiling for about 15 to 20 minutes, just make sure your rice is cooked all the way through. We're going to add in one cup of peas. Stir that in and let it simmer for about five more minutes. We just wanna make sure that those peas are nice and warmed through. And then of course, if our rice isn't quite 100% cooked, it gives it the opportunity to finish cooking completely. So our soup is done. I'm going to allow this to cool completely and we'll be having this for lunch this week. Really good source of protein. Add in your favorite cracker. You could top it with some chives or some dill for some added flavor. I will go ahead and put points, calorie serving size here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making homemade cinnamon sugar pumpkin donuts. I love a good homemade donut. It gives me all the donut vibes for way less points and calories. And of course, incorporating pumpkin is going to make these super fall-like. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need milk of your choice, all-purpose flour, sweetener alternative. Of course, I'm using Lakanto. This is actually the Lakanto granulated. That is my favorite sweetener alternative. Don't forget, I do have a 15% off discount code site-wide for Lakanto. It is down in the description box. Apple cider vinegar, salt, baking powder, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, pumpkin puree, and unsweetened applesauce. So the first thing we're going to do for our donuts is add all of our wet ingredients to a bowl. So I'm going to add a quarter cup or one of these little containers of unsweetened applesauce, half of a cup of Fairlife, vanilla, half of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and three tablespoons of canned pumpkin. And then we're going to just mix all of those wet ingredients together. Then we're going to add in our dry ingredients. So I have one cup of flour, one half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, pumpkin pie spice, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is a half of a teaspoon, so I'm going to do three of those quarter teaspoon salt, and then stir to combine. I sprayed my donut pan with some nonstick cooking spray, and then I'm going to just spoon in the mixture. The recipe calls for 10 donuts, so my goal is to try to get 10 donuts. So I was able to get 10 donuts 
total, these are going into a 350 degree oven until they are cooked completely through about 10 to 12 minutes. So I just pulled the donuts out. My house smells like a pumpkin patch. It smells really good in here. I did mix up some pumpkin pie spice and Lakanto, and I'm just going to sprinkle that right on top. I'm going to let these cool completely, pop them out of the pan, and I'll be back to share the completed pumpkin donuts. And here are the donuts. You guys, these are one point and under 50 calories. Who says you need to spend hundreds and hundreds of calories? 10, 15, 20 points on donuts. You can make them at home. And these are equally as delicious. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes, excited for pumpkin, excited for everything fall coming your way. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box for my recipe website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us there. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.